Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to flash and install CyanEngine Mod 10, the official CyanEngine Mod 10 ROM for the Nexus 7. Whether you have an 8 gig or a 16 gig version doesn't matter because they have the same hardware parts, it's just the hard drive size is different. If you notice I'm talking really fast, it's because I want to make this video as short as possible, but don't worry, I'll make it so that even absolute newbies can follow along. Okay, so the first thing you need to know is by trying to install this ROM, should something go wrong, you're only you're accountable. You'll be following this video at your own risk, okay? So be warned, if you don't want to, just turn off this video right now. Uh, to install the ROM, you must have your device rooted and install Clockwork Mod Recovery. If you want to see a video, I have one of those. I show you how to root and load Clockwork Mod Recovery on your device. You can follow that video here. And all annotation links I'll be pointing at will also be in the description below, okay? Uh, if you're having technical difficulties installing the ROM, please do not contact me. I'm not a developer. You must ask in the CyanogenMod Mod forums. If you don't know how to get there, just simply Google it and you'll find it. Uh, if there are any updates, um, like this video will be relevant even if there's say uh, a new version of CyanogenMod Mod released like 3-4 months from now. This video will always be relevant because CyanogenMod Mod ROMs, the installation method is always the same. If something major changes, I will let you know in the description below. So whether you're watching this video the day of release or something, please read the description no matter what before continuing any further. But as I said, I'll be installing a experimental version of CyanogenMod Mod 10, it's not finished, but even in the future when there is a stable version, the installation method will be the same. If not, I will write it in the description below. All your uh, apps and data will be erased. Your pictures in your gallery, um, your music, whatever, will be saved. But if you want to know how to back up your data and apps, please follow my video link here, which can also be found in the description below. There's two methods to installing Synergy Mod 10. Uh, I'm going to show you the easy method. And the easy method is simply by installing and downloading a, an app called ROM Manager, which will be in the description below as well. And from here, what you need to do is select download ROM okay and you should see something like Sanage and mod nightlies nightlies basically stands for experimental if in the future they might have a standalone Sanage and mod section if not just select it anyway and you should see a whole bunch of different versions um, I'm gonna be installing the experimental version and from here all you need to do is simply tap which ROM you want and another, another screen will see something like download and that's it you just let it do its business Okay, so the, the manual, uh, sorry, the auto method, which is what I just showed you, is so easy. You just select which ROM version you want to download, done. But I'm going to show you also a different method, okay? This is a method some people prefer. It's the manual method. So to do the manual method, let me just connect my tablet to my computer. And one mistake I made is I should have shown you that I'm actually running a, San, uh, sorry, a Nexus 7, just in case there are any doubters about tablet, uh, model, Nexus 7, and I'm still running the stock Jelly Bean ROM uh, from Google. Okay, so I haven't modified it. Okay, so to do, the, to do the manual method, you simply connect your tablet to your computer. Nothing fancy. You should get some sort of pop-up in which you can see the folders and directories. So what you need to do is go to this link, which will be in the description below as well, and you're going to see a whole bunch of different versions. Right now, I downloaded... Um, the M series, try to ignore Nightly's, they're a bit more buggy, try to download ones that say experimental M something, okay? The ones with an M are slightly more better versions, if in the future you see something like RC, release candidate is even better than M and Nightly, and of course if you see stable here somewhere, that means it's, it's pretty much complete. Okay, so like I said, this video will still be relevant, this is the only part that will change, you just need to make sure you read um, which ROM you're downloading. If you have any doubt, just download the latest version, though they're date stamped, okay? So just download the latest one. So this will be in the description. Download the correct zip file you want. Then you have to go to this web page, which will also be in the description below, and go under CyanogenMod 10, download any of these zip files, copy and paste it to the internal memory of your tablet, as I did, and then you're gonna boot into recovery. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Okay, so there are two methods to booting into re Clockwork Mod Recovery. Now, depending on which uh, Clockwork Mod installation method you used, if you use the one on my YouTube channel, I noticed that you can't use buttons to boot into Clockwork Mod Recovery. So what you can do is simply download ROM Manager, the app I originally listed in the description below. Remember this one, which, which is the auto mode to install ROMs. And you select the option where it says Reboot into Recovery. You just tap that and it will do the work for you. Uh, if you have another version of Clockwork Mod Recovery already installed, 
the other method to boot into Clockwork Mod is to simply hold and press both volume buttons while the tablet's off, and then press and hold the, vol the power button at the same time. So while the tablet's off, hold these two volume buttons, then hold the power button, all three at the same time, and you should see Clockwork Mod recovery. But if you're like me and it doesn't work, you just simply tap reboot into recovery, say OK, and that's it and done. Once uh, it has booted into Clockwork Mod Recovery, we'll continue from there. Okay, so we're now in uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery. Unfortunately, I don't have a touch recovery, so I have a button operated one. So this is the way it works. Volume up is to go up, volume down is to go down, power button is to select an option. So what you need to do first is select Wipe Data Factory Reset, press power button, and keep going all the way down until you see yes, hit the delete, Remember, you're deleting everything, so you should have backed up everything by now, which uh, if you don't know how to do, you should follow that video in which I pointed out earlier. I do this step twice, just to be safe. It's not necessary. Um, so any steps you see me doing twice, it's optional. I, I like to do it twice just to be safe and make sure that all previous system data is completely erased, okay? Uh, so once you wipe data factory reset twice, you're gonna go to wipe cache and partition, do this twice. Select yes, and then we'll continue once you've done that twice. Okay, so once you wipe your cache partition, what you're going to do now is navigate to one that says install zip from SD card, as I've just done. Um, you're going to choose zip from SD card, press the power button to select it again. You're going to see a whole bunch of folders. This is where your galleries, your pictures, and music and everything is. You're going to ignore that and go all the way to the bottom. Whoops. Okay, at this point, ignore G apps for now, okay? What you want to select is something that says something like uh, CM-10. Um, you're going to press the power button on that. Go all the way down to yes, select the power button. And what it's doing now is flashing the ROM. When it's done flashing the ROM, uh, we'll continue on. So when the ROM finishes installing, it's going to say install from SD card complete, and you're going to go automatically back to this screen. Uh, what you're going to do is select the power button on choose zip from SD card again. You're going to see a whole bunch of folders. This, remember, this is where your pictures and music and videos are. You're going to go down, ignore all that stuff. This time, the, the zip file we ignored, which was... Um, I'm not sure if the camera's focusing. If not, I'm reading it anyway. The zip file we ignored, where it says G apps. This time, you're going to press the power button on that. Go all the way down to yes. Oops. And this is installing the Google apps like Gmail, Google Play and stuff. So it is necessary to install the zip as well. And once that's done, we'll continue on. Okay, so the G apps zip has finished installing. It says install from SD card complete. Once again, you get transferred automatically back to this screen. And, oh, it is touch recovery. Wow, okay, it's button operated and touch. Uh, the version I have in my YouTube channel. I didn't know that. <laughs> it would have helped if I touched the screen. Okay, so as you saw, um, it was at this screen. All you're gonna do is select go back. And you're gonna hit reboot system now. Uh, at this point, Cyanage Mod 10 should boot up. And you're pretty much done. Let's just see if it actually has the loading screen. Uh, so yeah, to, while it's doing that, to reiterate, oh, this is the new Cyanogen Mod 10 um, boot animation. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, okay, so again, you're following this video at your own risk. I take no responsibility if something goes damaged. Uh, if you have any technical difficulties, ask in the Cyanogen Mod forums. Don't ask me. I am not a developer. You must have root and clocker mod recovery installed in your device. If you want to need a video or not, you can follow it in my YouTube channel, which is in the description below. Please try to back up your apps and data. A video on that is in my YouTube channel, also in the description below. Download the necessary files, um, and that's it. I show you two methods on how to get it done. Again, remember, this video will still be relevant even for future updates of San Engine Mod 10. Uh, because the Cyan Engine Mod 10 installation method is always the same. Okay, they they don't they don't try to change it because it, they like to keep it pretty simple. Um, so yeah, even if there's a different version, like I said on this website, please just read the relevant information. Nightly means experiment. If there's nightly and it has a capital M in it, that means it's a monthly update, which is more stable than a regular nightly here. If there's RC anywhere here under type, that means it's release candidate, it's a bit more stable. And of course, if it says stable anywhere here, that means it's a stable version and that's the best one. So just this is the only part where you have to do work on your own, just read it up. Like I said, there's a timestamp, so you can just download the latest version. And that's pretty much it. Uh, as you can see, it's starting up and... Uh, yeah. So if you found this video useful, check out my website in the description below. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe, and thanks for watching.